Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Red Bank Catholic is brought to you by Pliables of Red Bank. Both Red Bank Catholic and Marlboro looking to capture their first ever WOBM Christmas Classic titles. The KC Soaring Five is almost all players from their state championship football team. The Mustangs offer a dangerous blend of size and agility that have carried them here. RBC was the sixth seed in this tournament, but played well above that in the opening quarter. MJ Wright drives the lane for the lay-in to get the scoring started, and then junior Charlie Gordonier rips off the pull-up J. RBC opens on an 8-0 run. Steve Lubisher chimes in with some razzle-dazzle on the layup. RBC out to a 21-11 lead as the first quarter closes. It's a different story in the second. Alex Ratner's knack for finding the net pays off as he kickstarts Marlboro's motor. Then it's Dylan Kaufman, the big man down low. He's going to kick it out to Anthony Brienza for the tray bomb. Marlboro right back into this game. It's 23-20 midway through two quarters. Once more from Ratner in the second, he breaks loose and knocks that one off the glass for a deuce. Marlboro has its first lead of the night at 26-25, but they go into the half down by one in a 31-30 game. Just when you think Marlboro can start to gain some ground, RBC locks it all down. John Duffy dials one up from way downtown, and then after the rebound, Charlie Gordonier is going to dish it to Steve Lubisher. And look at Steve Lubisher showing off some moves. Lubisher led RBC in scoring with 13 points. The Casey's back in control. They lead Marlboro 42-33 going into the fourth. So the Mustangs need a rally in the final furlong, and they get it from thoroughbred Dylan Kaufman. Kaufman is making moves all over these RBC bigs. He scores on Gordonier, then Kaufman down low past Kevin Bauman for two. Big number 30 had 24 points on the night, 13 in the fourth quarter. Marlboro trails by seven. Kaufman getting it done on defense too. He causes the loose ball and the Mustangs are right back on offense. Same possession, this one hits off the iron, but Anthony Brienza gets the offensive board and the bucket. So Marlboro makes this a 51-49 game with 2.25 left in regulation. And then the Mustangs playing full court press under a minute to go. It's Alex Ratner coming up with the steal and the bucket. Marlboro storms right back into this game after erasing that nine point deficit. It's 51-51, 47 seconds left. So RBC with possession, they're holding the rock for one more shot. Under 10 seconds, Matt Conley pulls up, he's no good. Gordoner's jumper, that's no good. Marlboro gets the rebound, they call the quick timeout. And it's time to draw up a good play because folks, we have only 1.1 seconds left in regulation. So Marlboro loading up for the Hail Mary pass. Kevin Bauman in front gets a hand, MJ Wright. His floater is good. The 10 foot floater is good. MJ Wright beats the buzzer on an electrifying last play to hit the game winner. Oh my goodness, the crowd explodes after such a wild play. Let's slow it down for you one more time. Bauman gets a pull on the ball as he's coming to the ground. And look at that awareness from MJ Wright to get rid of the ball before the buzzer. One of the best buzzer beaters we've had at Jersey Sports Zone as Red Bank Catholic wins their first WOBN tournament in exciting fashion. 53 to 51 is the final. Give credit to Marlboro for fighting back twice in this game to tie it up with a chance to win. It's a heartbreaking way to lose. But let's not forget about RBC and that combination of MJ Wright and Kevin Bauman. After the game, JSE caught up with the two who went through all of the emotions in that final second. Well, I thought they were uh, gonna fake uh, going up the court and then go back deep so I had to guard my man. And then once it came off of Kevin's hands, I know I had to get the shot off and then it rolled uh, right in. 
<laughs> no, I, I was in shock. My everything stopped. The game stopped. Every everybody in the crowd just stopped. I didn't hear a single thing. It's crazy. We um, you know, we knew it was gonna be a tough game, but um, you know, we were able to get the job done. Um, you know, it took both sides of the ball. Um, you know, at the end, you know, we were able to come up with it. And it just, you know, it does feel great. We, you know, we worked hard for this. Um, you know, first first uh, WOBM uh, championship in RBC history, I believe. And um, you know, that's awesome. You know, in and of itself. Um, just to say that we, you know, finally won this thing. Um, you know, so yeah, it feels great. Reporting from Tom's River, I'm Jay Cook with Jersey Sports Zone.